Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a first look at the macOS desktop application, Perfect Assistant version 2. This application enables you to quickly get up and running with server-side Swift projects from Perfect, Kutura, Vapor and Zewo, manage their dependencies, build and test Linux executables locally, and easily deploy to multiple cloud providers. If you follow along with this video, at the end you will have downloaded and installed the Perfect Assistant version 2, set up Docker, and be ready for the next phase of your development. So let's get started. Before we rip into installing the Perfect Assistant application, let's first verify that you have the correct version of macOS, Xcode, and Swift. To run the Assistant, you will need macOS 10.12, Sierra, or later and Xcode 8.32 or later installed, with the Xcode 8.32 or later command line tools selected. To check the version of macOS you are running, select About This Mac from the Apple menu. You will see there what version of macOS you are currently running. To check the version of Xcode, open Xcode and select About Xcode from the Xcode menu. Hopefully you see Xcode 8.32 or later or Xcode 9. The final thing to sort out before we get downloading and installing is that we have the right toolchain set. The toolchain is a way of describing what version of Swift the operating system considers current. To set this, select Preferences from the Xcode menu and click on the Locations icon on the far right. On that pane you will see a drop down for Command Line Tools. You want that to say 8.3.2 or later. Don't select any Xcode 9 toolchains, even if you are running Xcode 9. Perfect Assistant 2 is currently set to use the version of Swift that ships with Xcode 8.3.2 or later. Now to downloading and installing. The place to start is loading up http colon slash dash www.perfect.org in your browser. Around the middle of the home page is a button, Meet the Assistant. This takes you to a page that gives an overview of the application. So the button we want is the Free Download button. Clicking this will trigger the download of a DMG file which contains the application. Once it's finished downloading, you can double click it to open the DMG file and a window springs open with the icon of the application and an alias to the application's directory. Drag and drop the Perfect Assistant application onto the application's directory. It will copy it there. Once you have done that, you can eject the disk image. A quick and easy way now to launch the application is to press the Command Spacebar combination. This brings up the Spotlight search. Start typing in Perfect Assistant and it will display the Perfect Assistant name as an autocomplete option. Then you can launch the app by simply pressing the return key. Alternatively, you can get to it from a launcher. Or, you can open the applications directory on your Mac, find the application and open it from there. Now to get Docker running. Docker is essential if you are wanting to, now or in the future, deploy to Linux servers such as AWS instances or Google Cloud. It means that you can compile your server applications locally and identify build errors before you push the application to these servers. The easy way to tell if Docker is running is by looking at the top right area of the welcome screen. If the message is, Docker is installed and running, then you're all set and ready to proceed to the next video installment in this series. If your main window has red text saying, Docker is not installed, then you should click the Install Docker Now button. This will begin the Docker app download. When the download has finished, the DMG will be opened. Drag the Docker application into the Applications folder and launch it. Docker will now ask for permissions to get things installed to work correctly. Click OK and the installation will continue. Once Docker has been installed and given a chance to fully launch, Perfect Assistant will automatically begin downloading the base images required for local Linux builds. 
After the images have downloaded, the Update Docker Image button will be displayed, and you're ready to go to the next phase.